guys. Whoa! <gasps> guys, I was just taking a stroll in my backyard. And guys, look at what I found. Whoa! Guys, look at how big that is. We're going to take good care of you, buddy. <laughs> Hi, friends of Irish Nature Guy. Watch me turn into a little butterfly. Let me take you back home, buddy. There are three things you need to remember if you raise a caterpillar. Number one, so you should put him next to a window so there's a lot of fresh air for him to breathe. Number two, you need to change fresh leaves for him every day. Number three, treat them with a lot of love. <laughs> hey, guys, he doesn't even have a name yet. Do you guys have any ideas? Maybe Buttercup. What do you think, guys? Welcome home, Buttercup. <laughs> guys, let's give them more milkweed leaves to chew on. They love eating. See that white stuff on the tip? That's the sap. And the reason why it's called milkweed? It's because sap looks just like milk. But this is not the kind of milk you want to drink. Because... Ouch! You're gonna have a bad stomach ache. But the caterpillars like it because once they eat it, they themselves become poisonous too! <gasps> this is important for their survival because birds love to eat them. So, once a bird takes a tiny bite, <laughs> he's really gonna regret it. <laughs> Guys, look at how fresh they are! Buttercup would really enjoy these nice juicy leaves. Buttercup has a huge appetite. Look at how much he's eating. Guys, let's do a checkup. As he's eating a lot and he's pooping a lot, and that's perfectly normal for a caterpillar. His grip is great. Yeah, I can't get him off. Doesn't it seem like Buttercup is bigger than yesterday? I think so. <laughs> Guys, you see this thing? That is called frass, aka caterpillar poop. Can you say frass? You got it! Yeah! Oh no! Buttercup is not moving! Oh! Help! Guys, I'm getting really worried. Look, I just came back from summer camp and he still hasn't moved. He hasn't even touched the milkweed. Buttercup usually eats the whole thing. I'm really worried. What about you, Audie? Mm-hmm. Are you guys worried too? Why is Buttercup not moving? Let's investigate. Wait a second. What are these silvery trails? Is that silk? Look, he's weaving a silk pad. That's good news. Do you know why, guys? This little white blob of silk is exactly where he's going to hang on to and turn to a chrysalis. Isn't that cool, guys? This is a very important stage of his life, so let's be sure to not let anybody touch him. This is what I'm going to do, guys. First, I can put this piece of paper that says, do not touch, right here. And now, we're going to have Audie watch him. Yes, sir. I'll take care of you, Buttercup. <laughs> and last but not least, the tongue. So nobody can come close to it. Let's say it together, guys. Let's go Buttercup! Oh, I got him! Guys, I think he's ready to turn chrysalis. Do you know why? Take a look at his antenna. Do you see how they're draped? That's because he already yoinked his antenna right out of the skin. And in the meanwhile, He's trying to get himself out of it. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's nodding. <laughs> Buttercup is getting ready. Are you ready? Don't blink, guys. The moment has come. You're not going to believe what happened. He turned into a chrysalis. Whoa! There he is, the new pupil. 
See that little black dot right there? That's his old skin. <laughs> Guys, I'm getting really worried. I just noticed a little crack over there. Guys, the black strip got me in two things. Number one, it could have a bad infection. That's really bad for him. Oh no! And number two, Nothing, just a pattern. Guys, would you give this video a thumbs up to cheer Buttercup on? Yeah! Feel better, buddy. Overnight magic happened. Good morning. I just woke up. And guess what? He turned black. Whoa! Inside the Christmas, magic is happening. I think he's getting ready to become a monarch. Guys, if you look closely, you can actually see the wounds. Whoa! I can't wait! Guys, are you excited? <laughs> look, guys! When a butterfly first comes out of a pupa, its wings are completely crumpled. Let's give Buttercup some time to spread his wings. Guys, what gender do you think this butterfly is? Is it a boy or is it a girl? Now let me look at my trusty butterfly guide. Aha! It's a girl. The wings in her wings are darker than the male. See that? It's a boy! He has a black spot on each of his hind wings. So I guess let's look for the dots. Oh, I see it, I see it! Buttercup has those dots! Buttercup is a boy! Hit the ball, hit the ball, hit the ball! Guys, let's feed Buttercup. It's been like weeks since he last ate his caterpillar. He must be really hungry. I'm hungry! One teaspoon of sugar. Now we need to put ten spoons of water. Okay, this is going to go on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. ten. Now let's start mixing. Guys, it's mm -hmm. really tasty. We just bought some cotton balls from the store. Let's just drink one of them. <coughs> there we go. No nectar left. Hmm, he's not coming down to eat. Guys, I'm a little worried. Lunch. Oh, his red boss is a little folded up. Oh. It should be extended out like this, but but right now I'm just chucked straight against them. Oh no! The book says. Now we gently unfold the process with a toothpick or a straightened paper clip. The first time you feed it. After that, you will know what to do. Oh. Luckily, I always prepare, so I have a tool. Mm -hmm. So I can use that to gently help him get his process. Although this might look like a needle, I'm pretty good at this. Let me show you. Guys, look at him! He's drinking a lot! He's so happy, guys. Oh, I think he's gone. That's a lot for one meal. <laughs> guys, it's very sunny outside today, so let's release Buttercup. But first, look what I found in the mailbox. You guys don't see anything? Well, wait until I show you. These are Monarch Watch tags. These are very, very light stickers. This is like a little passport for butterflies. Hi, I'm Buttercup. 
guys, monarch numbers are going down, so that's very bad for them. But we can at least make sure he's safe. So we attack him, scientists can track them, so we can make sure he rises out of his home safely. So now let's tag it very gently. Oh god, I forgot to show one thing. This is the instruction manual, and look here. You need to tag them right there. So we have to be very precise. Can you help me? Let's go. ALSC071. Let's try out this tag. Right there. Press down for a few seconds. There we go. Guys, if you're wondering how scientists will know that Buttercup is ALSC071, no worries, don't know, because we're telling them. Here, we're going to fill out this little data sheet. Hmm, this is Aaron from Aaron's Nature Guide. Now let's fill out Buttercup's information sheet. SC one We got it. So now it's gone, monarchwatch.org. Guys, see? All you need to do is click on this guy. Now it's time to upload Buttercup's file. Audie, what is that on your head? Huh? That's my tag! Track me, guys! <laughs> guys, you guys don't really need to track Audie, but one thing you gotta do, smash that subscribe button! <laughs> guys, this flower patch is a great place to release him. Take a look! All these wildflowers, all Monarch will want. <laughs> Don't be nervous, buddy. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. 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 <laughs> Look, Buttercup is drinking nectar. Bye, Buttercup. We'll come and see you soon. And we did. One month later, we traveled to Cape May to find our buttercup. Guys, we traveled all the way to Cape May, New Jersey. Cape May is like a magical place. It's a guest station for our monarchs. Every year, thousands of monarchs come here to fill up on nectar and prepare for the 3,000 mile journey to Mexico. <gasps> also, we're here today to look for buttercup. Can you help us find him? Remember, he has a special code. Let's go! Oh, look! A Monarch Education event! Let's go and learn! Guys, we have a special guest here today. His name is Jack. He's a Monarch expert. We're going to interview him today to see what he knows about Monarchs. I'm the field coordinator of uh, the Pit May Monarch Barn Project here in New Jersey. Let's ask a few questions. Why do we tag the butterflies? So, we tag the butterflies here in Cape May not only to figure out exactly how they're migrating and where they're going, um, but also other cool things about how fast they're traveling um, and a lot of really other cool information. So, the idea is that we not only have to protect monarch butterflies where they're breeding and in the summertime and where they're spending the winter, but the whole migratory just on the everywhere that they're traveling to along the way. Cool! For my friends at my school, how can they help? The best thing that you can do to help monarch butterflies is to plant native plants to your area. So we shall all plant some milkweeds. Guys, now let's look for a buttercup. Guys, look! We found some monarchs! Wait, is there a tag on his wing? Let me look at it closely. That's A-I-Y-R-4-5-1. No, that's not a buttercup. Oh, there's another one. Hi, Mr. Butterfly. Have you seen Buttercup? I think he's just here to eat. Oh, no. This poor little butterfly had ripped his wings. But he is a little tough guy. Stay safe out there. Guys, we have to look for more butterflies to find Buttercup. Time to turn on bird vision! Aha! Right there! Hey, hey Mr. Butterfly, have you seen your buttercup? Yes, yes! This way! Huh. Guys, he said this way! That's south! Our buttercup is 
head to Mexico! Yay! I'm Aaron from Aaron's Nature Guide. Join me to save the world. One critter at a time. Subscribe! I'm going to Mexico too! Oh look! An autofly! <laughs> Guys, we found a lot of monarchs today, but we didn't find Buttercup. Make sure to keep an eye out for monarchs passing your backyard. And if you see this special tag, be sure to report it to monarchwatch.org. Oh, let me know and take a little picture, because I really like to see him again. Yeah!